Hey, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. Uh, Mark here with Steve. We're talking about Final Cut Pro 10.2 with the new features and going to go a little into now color correction, which color correction has been in Final Cut the whole time, so there's something new. Right, uh, the, Apple's made some small changes that'll affect your workflow, um, but the changes are actually to the better. They're, uh, okay. I think they're a lot cleaner, a lot easier to use, and you'll see, uh, specifically when used with the new mask feature, offer a lot of functionality with regard to color correction. It's interesting, Apple is not afraid to make a change that might be a little bit annoying, but be, it's for the better. It's for the it's better. long-term right. for the better. So let's, let's see what we got going on. Well, we're gonna do some what's called secondary color correction here, which means okay. we're gonna color correct just portions of the frame, not the entire frame. Okay. Now I'm looking at this shot of Jocelyn here, and you know she's drinking coffee on the, on the sofa here, and she's correctly exposed, but I, I feel that the, the shutters are a little bit too bright, and they're kind of distracting from yeah, the subject. Your so, eye gets drawn to them. Exactly, so what I'm gonna do is, well, I, I'm not one to, to uh, judge an image entirely subjectively. I, I think you need to look at it in the scopes. Okay. So we're gonna hit Command yeah. 7. It's the art and science of color correction. That's right, the art and science of color correction. So you can see here that, look, the image is broadcast legal. There's nothing above 100, yeah. but it's still not right. Really- and You're in the waveform, by the way. Yeah, so that's, that's what we are in the waveform. This is where I generally start to check yeah. my exposure. contrast okay. exposure. Now normally, I like my highlights at about 90%. And the reason is, is that you, it gives you some headroom mm -hmm. to kind of push the image and still maintain detail. I never like the highlights sitting at 100. When you shoot, you mean? When, I, when I shoot, or even when I'm given an image, and let's say yeah. I'm giving, given something like raw, something airy raw or red raw, I, I just think even having all that latitude, uh, you, you have so much more detail that you can yeah. get out of the image of the highlights. But, yep. And so working on scopes, you know, we just don't want things at 100%. Okay. Just don't. Okay. Okay, so, we need to do something about that. So what I'm gonna do is hit Command-5, and you'll notice there's a new category in effects called color. This is new, uh -huh. and there's a new color correction effect, because color correction now is applied as an effect. And the other effects in there are not new, they've just been put collected into this category. Correct, they've been mm -hmm. all collated under the color category. Yes. So what I'm gonna do is um, just Take that out and so that's, that's drop a, just it. by the, if people had been using Final Cut, that's a big difference. The color, the color correction is now in effect. That's right. That's a big difference. And I explain in the first video that we did um, when we this was released why that's important because you can change the processing order. We're not going to go yeah. into that now, but that's okay. a huge reason yeah. you want it as an effect. Probably why they did it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Command Four, and I'm going to open the inspector, and I want you to see. The masks, what we want to do is mask this area out. Okay. Uh, so we want to uh, essentially want to isolate her from her background. Mm -hmm. And if I move my mouse pointer over this bar, I see this little mask icon. And you saw this with mask with uh, you know effect masks earlier. Yes. So this yes. is an effect mask. So I click this. Or is, can, it, is it a mask effect? No, it's an effect mask because it's because oh, okay. color correction is an effect. effect. Okay. Right. I know it's a little confusing. Yes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use what's called a color mask, not a shape mask, a color mask. Mm -hmm. And I have an eyedropper, and this is very much like a keyer. I wanna I wanna select a range uh -huh. of luminance pixels behind yes. her. Yes. So I'm gonna move the eyedropper back here behind her head, and I'm gonna just click, and I'm gonna just click, 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 yeah, right, and start dragging outward. I'm trying to isolate as much of the background is possible, right? Without getting, without, selecting her stuff. Without, yeah, you yeah. want it to go into her head there. Yeah. You're just like, like and it looks no. like you're selecting a little bit of the book yes, there also. Yes, which we'll deal with right. with another mask. Okay, Right. Okay. So, <laughs> good point. So I'm gonna do is select that. And, yes. uh, and what you wanna do is check your masks by clicking this view mask button. You could see it did, uh, did a pretty decent job. It sure did, it sure did. And, yeah. and as you rightly pointed out, it, it left some of the book, which again, we'll deal with that. Yeah. But one thing I wanna show you, so you have the softness slider, which which allows you to play with the tolerance yeah. of that selection. Yeah. Now here's something that's new, and I should point this out, Mark. If I turn off view masks, remember in the old Final Cut or the previous Final Cut, you hold down the option to get a key? Yes. So this one, this time you need to hold down the command key. They changed. Uh, so you're holding command so and clicking on what? Click and hold the slider. And now you can, so now you can do is you can change the tolerance while holding the command while, key. While looking at the while mask. While looking at the mask. I see. Okay. Th that, that saves you from actually having to turn Keep the Keep switching back and forth. Exactly. So I just want to point out the command key now allows it's you to change the mask. Very good. Previously it was the option, option key. key. Very useful tip. Very useful tip. Okay. So now um, I have uh, this. I'm going to go ahead and turn the view mask on. Okay, great. But as you rightly pointed out, i got to deal with this somehow. So. I'm gonna add another mask. This is where masks are so great. So I'm gonna okay. go up here uh, to the color question. I'm just gonna say, let's add a shape, a shape mask. mask time, okay, huh? I'm gonna add a shape mask. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn this into a square. And um, I'm gonna put this down here. 
over the book. Yeah. You're like, okay, something's not right. Well, don't worry about that. I'll explain it in a minute. I'm going to just go ahead and reduce the feathering. I'm tr- what I'm trying to do is get that book inside the mask Fully boundary. Yeah. Now, this is what I want to point out. These masks are applied in a certain order. This mask shape is actually applied on top of the first color mask. I see. Right? So this, yeah. is un- so this mask is being applied on top. And then what... It's, right it's here, like it's intersecting. Yeah, it, it's now it's, inter- it's intersect. Those two masks are intersecting. So it's like your Venn diagrams... <laughs> yeah. On your back in the now, yeah. so the, the problem is, is that the mask layer order is incorrect. Okay, I really want to apply the sheet mask on top of the color mask. So I'm going to drag this color mask bar and move it up like this. Great, so uh, far so good. Except it's now a... I'm at now now the sheet mask is below. It's it's being added to the, the oh. mask. I don't want it added. Want I want it to subtract, away, subtract it. it. Beautiful. Now it's gone. Now it's gone. That's totally gone. So now. I'm gonna, now I have this problem over here. So all I need to do is go back up here. Let's add another shape mask. These masks are great for this sort of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reduce the feathering and then make it a little smaller here. Go ahead and make this and this here. I'll just, this, this is why I think masks are huge in Final Cut. So I'll move this here. Yeah. And I wanna move that down with the other mask. And then I wanna go Subtract. Subtract that one as well. Subtract that so one as well. you're subtracting both of those from the top mask. That's right. Okay. And you know what's also neat, Mark? You could actually go in here and double click on these masks and give them specific names. I can actually go in here and say book mask. So wow. if you have a lot of wow. masks, you can, keep, you track can, you of can them. keep track of them. I can go over here and say shoulder mask. Nice. That's nice. a really, really nice, great nice. feature. So last step, I'm going to go ahead and turn on view masks. Okay. And I'm going to now jump into the color board. Okay. Okay. Now, because we've isolated it, I should be able to work, I, I should be able to now adjust the exposure. So I'm gonna go here and um, notice I'm gonna bring the, uh, bring the highlights, highlights down. down. And now notice, notice what's happening. It's bringing the highlights down only in the shutter area. Yep. So what I'm gonna do is bring them down to about 90%. So it's again, it's, it's less Yep. It's uh, a nice subtle cha- change, but less distracting. But I'm gonna go one step further. I'm gonna go into the color board and I'm gonna warm up, maybe it's maybe it's just a little too white or mm-hmm. cool for me. So I might uh, take the highlights and just kind of just warm them up just a bit just like a that, bit, yeah. just a tiny bit. When I go back in here and we'll do what we do before and after, you'll see it's a pretty, yes, pretty sure dramatic is. change. And I get my broadcast safe. So it's, it's a great use of masks in combination with the color correction board to create Fantastic. some Fantastic, great. Very useful in the future. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Steve. Great explanation. Hope you guys got something out of that. Stay tuned every week. We're diving into these new features. We're gonna keep going. Check out all the tutorials that we have. Steve has a whole new tutorial on Final Cut Pro 10.2, all the new features, including masks, 3D text, and a bunch more. And uh, check us out, we're on Facebook. You can like us on Twitter, Twitter so you get notified when we have new things going on. And uh, I guess that's it. So we'll see you next week on MacBreak Studio.